Cool. Hello everyone and welcome to uh, Monday. It's been uh, it's been a bit of a weird one. Um, we is that lightning? Where? It just everything flashed. I don't see any. I don't know if that was viewable on video or if like I'm losing my mind. Oh yeah, it was. All right. So we were told on the forecast that there was going to be rain like every day for 10 days. And then your dogs barking at the house across the street. Um, and then like for the past few days, there really hasn't been. Um, and we were kind of relying on that rain because otherwise it's been really hot. And we haven't been able to really take walks because it's been like 90 plus degrees. And even in the evenings, it's still stupid hot. But today there's been, there's been a little rain, but it's just, there's been a lot of thunder. And uh, we were looking at the map and like it was just like all of the storm stuff is like around us, but barely any is like hitting us. But the good news is it's made everything cool. So we might be able to take a walk. Hopefully, hopefully if, if any rain actually like hits us, the rain that's surrounding us is apparently bad. There's a lot of it, but I think we'll be all right. And of course, Mao had to um, Mao had to varnish her uh, Pikmin piece uh, that sold on. Yes, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. I think it sold yesterday, and uh, we'll probably try and get that out Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, sometime in the next like two days. <laughs> Whenever we do it, it's also going to be our big shopping day. We'll probably do it Wednesday actually because. Um, uh, I think tomorrow I'm going to try and do another first 20 stream. It's time. Uh, so I'll probably do the first 20 stream and that'll be kind of my day. And then on a Wednesday, we'll plan on, you know, actually going out into the world again. And using, using, the, using the car that we haven't gotten as much use out of this year that I, as I thought we were going to get. We waited for the, uh, the thunder and lightning to pass because we were a little concerned, but... People get struck here. Yeah, it can happen, you know. So even though there wasn't any rain or anything, and the skies above looked fine, we were like, eh, probably be a little bit safer. So we waited till all that passed, and now we're on our little walk. And it's what, mid-high 70s? Mid-70s? Uh, it says it's 75. 75. But, um, so. It's more humid than that. It's a little, yeah. It's a little hotter than 75 because of the humidity, but... 75 when it's been 90 plus. Yeah, I'll take it. Look, Mal. Rainbow. There's a rainbow. Yeah. Aw. That's nice. Scoop for tomorrow. And a scoop for tomorrow also. So, um, we're doing something a little different. We, I mean, we haven't made a whole lot of spaghetti, but we've started to make it, but we, we ran out of ground beef, but we still have chicken. So we're doing chicken with, um, you know, spaghetti and marinara. And like, that's fine. So like, I think so often we associate- It looks good though. It does. So often we associate chicken with white sauce, with, with Alfredo. But the truth is, it, it's tomato and chicken goes fine together. We just don't eat it a whole lot, but I have a feeling we'll really like this, and we made so much that we're going to have um, leftovers tomorrow, so we'll have lunch or something. That's good. That is good. A little scoop for you. Mine's a little bit bigger. But well, like, here. <laughs> I need more food. <laughs> it's how I am. As I suspected, that pasta was good. Yeah. I liked it. We don't normally do chicken with that, but it's good, and we'll have it. We'll have some tomorrow too, which is nice. So tonight we're gonna end off the vlog by trying a Kit Kat. Back for more Kit Kat challenge, baby. I wanted to do this yesterday, but I waited too long. So before it's too late, because I'm not supposed to eat right before bed, because I'm a, I'm taking those pills. 
Um, we can do the Kit Kat now. Kit Kat. And this one is called uh, what? Ruby. Yeah, this is the Ruby Chocolate. So we had a Ruby Chocolate yeah, one. Yeah, we did. So this might be practically identical. We picked up some in Japan. There were three different ones we picked up in Japan, and one of them was uh, a Ruby Chocolate one, right? Pretty that's sure. Where, I think that's where we got it. Um, so this might be the same. There's there's a few that we have that they're di like they're the same flavor, but they're different packaging. This technically has a slightly different name than the one we tried before, but I don't, we're just gonna try it and see what happens. Hashtag my break. So if people don't know, ruby chocolate is a new type of chocolate, like milk or dark or white chocolate. Mm -hmm. So this is a new type and it's pink. It's really wild. Because it tastes very much like, um, like it has a hint of raspberry or cherry or something. It's fruity. It's fruity. Mm -hmm. That's what the Wikipedia article says about it. And the inside actually looks very much like a normal Kit Kat. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's just, I don't know if I'll be able to get close on that. There we go. So like the inside is just a normal Kit Kat with the wafers and the chocolate. But of course the outside is this, um, this special ruby chocolate. And yeah, it's, it's basically like a fruity chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's very good. It's almost like a tiny bit tart as a result. I like it, but. I like it too. It's very strange. Mm hmm. Anyway, that seems like as good a place as I need to end. So thank you all so much for watching. I have some in my teeth. And let's meet back tomorrow. Shall we? I still have some in my teeth.